For this exercise, you're gonna set up in a hat meal position, also known as a <clears throat> For this exercise, you're going to set up in a half kneel position with one knee on the ground, one foot forward. You're going to step with a foam roller to the uh, outside of the knee of the foot that's down like this. Get it at a slight angle right here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to just bring yourself close enough to the wall so you can pinch the knee into the foam roller so it stays on the wall here. So there's some force being driven here which activates that side glute. You can see also if you look from this angle, that the foot is pointing straight forward, stacked with the knee and the hip. Everything's in alignment, so the hips are pointing straight forward here. And then what you're gonna do is without bringing the hips with or moving anything else, you're just gonna rotate from the chest here. So hips are pointing straight forward, and you're just rotating at the rib cage towards the foam roller, so you're pointing at the, at the foam roller here. And in this position, you should most likely already feel a stretch in this hip flexor here. If you don't feel that stretch or you're not in the right position, you most likely are just getting a, a slight anterior tilt of the pelvis like this. So make sure you get that, tuck, that pelvis tucked back right here so you're stretching at these tissues in the front here. You're also tucking the rib cage down here so you're not flaring like this. You got abs active, turning towards this side. You reach this hand, the one that's farthest away from the wall, against the foam roller here. The elbow should be straight here, so it's not a bent elbow here. Straight here. You may need to adjust where the foam roller is in order to get that straight posture. And then, keeping all of these mechanics here, you're going to reach this hand through like this. And nice and slow, you're really slowly open up the chest towards the wall, and then back over like that. You'll notice that the hips will want to rotate towards the wall as you rotate the chest. So double check yourself and make sure those hips are straight forward as you rotate out, focusing on dissociation of the trunk and the pelvis here, moving only from the trunk while the hips and the pelvis stay stable.